to you. I hope that you are having a wonderful Friday and are looking forward to a wonderful Labor Day weekend. I, uh, I have some skinny minis to go in the shop today, and they are $25. They're made from a macaroni box, so I've got those going in the shop today. I wanted to be sure that everybody knows that I did not invent this style of journaling. This is the brainchild of Rosemary Morris, who is a brilliant designer and artist, and she has a YouTube presence, and she also has a Facebook a site where she organizes swaps for junk journals and flow journals and trashy junk journals and things like that. Um, hop on over and see Rosemary. She has an Etsy shop, YouTube, Facebook. It's just amazing what, what she does. She is a remarkable artist. And on top of that, she is just a sweet gal. So go over and check her out. I just, I don't want anybody to get the, the impression that I invented these because I did not invent flow journaling, uh, flow journals. Uh, let me take you through here so we can see what we have today. These are $25 and postage. The first one that I'm going to show you guys is already sold, so we'll just kind of flip through this really quick. I am sorry about the um, the lighting today. I'm upstairs. There's just quite a lot going on downstairs today. Chris is getting ready to go to Houston to see our daughter and make sure she's okay. And um, the lady next door is having her roof redone. So <laughs> between the barking dogs, the chickens, the roof, and packing to go to Houston, things are hectic downstairs. Um, like I said, this little journal's already sold. It does feature kitty cats, and I will be doing more of these kind of uh, Halloween-ish themed journals because my beautiful friend Jeannie has sent me all kinds of funky, cool Halloween fabric to work with with these junk journals, with these flow journals. I finished this one off with um, some plastic black stars and also some black and white paper beads. Just going to go through here. You got a pocket and this is the first signature. It is kind of Halloween-ish. I've got some negatives in here. I love these things. I think they really add a lot to, to a journal. Um, I think that they add an aura of mystery. Uh, there are some elements in here that says boo. This is a skinny book. These are definitions of scary words like apples and bat and broom and candy and things like that that are applicable for Halloween. I have a piece of, I've been experimenting a whole lot with cereal box board downstairs and sprays and things like that. We have some ATCs and spiders, um, hearts and stars and crossbones. I love that. A few steampunk elements up here. Bats. The tabs that I taught you guys how to make. Very simple and easy. More of the skinny books. This one says Boo and Eye of Newt. I thought that those would be fun if you're if you're doing any altered um, like altered spell bottles or anything like that. Those would be fun on there. This is a kitty cat. This is an envelope full of extra elements for you to play with. More steampunk. More skeletons, cobwebs, that kind of thing. Uh, another skinny book for you or for you to give away. I've got some more ATCs here. I love this uh, script paper. I think it's so cool. And this is a little kitty cat for you to color. And of course, since this was really a cat journal, I've, I found this really sweet, isn't she cute? He cute, of a baby kitty cat. I thought that was precious. Got a little more steampunk, a little more kitty cat. And another photo negative for you to play with and some more things to color. This, this book is just kind of chock full of, of papers and uh, small elements. Of course, with these journals are tiny and it's really kind of hard to get a whole lot in here. But you can see that she's chunked up pretty good. I did not washi tape in a, a plastic bag for you in the back because these journals are just getting, they're, they're, 
they're big, they're fat, they're chunky, they're goodness. So I will send along a bag of goodies to you. Okay, and there's our kitty cat journal. Like I said, she's already sold. This is some more just excellent, excellent fabric from Jeannie. This is like a batik uh, swirl design, and I finished this off with really great little assortment of Czechoslovakian beads. Uh, you've got a couple plastic beads in here, but for the most part, these are glass beads and, of course, the lampwork bead down here that I just I kind of adored that bead. I thought it was so cool. All right, let's go through this one. I again really appreciate your support in buying these journals. It really does help me help my son out. Um, the place that they're living now is 45 minutes from my daughter-in-law's um, new job that she just got after being not with a job for about nine months. So we're, we're very, very happy that she's working again. And um, we're just really happy about that. But the new place that they have been staying is about 45 minutes from her work, and it's requiring a whole lot of gas. And now we've got this thing in Houston happening. So um, I'm very appreciative when you guys purchase the journals because part of that money does go to help me help my son. And, you know, last week, last week was kind of miraculous because um, uh, my daughter-in-law needed, needed gas money. Uh, if you guys don't know, my, my son, Christopher, is recovering from bilateral hip replacement surgery. He discovered last year that his hips were degenerating because of osteonecrosis, and um, he had to have them operated on in June. But he is recovering and should be able to get back to work around the first of the year, they've told him. But anytime you guys buy these journals, it really does help me help them. And now we're kind of faced with the, um, with the prospect of needing to help our daughter in Houston. And, um, you know, <laughs> sometimes it's just all about your kids, even when they're grown up. You know, they kind of, they need your help. And, and uh, that really does help me help them. This is just a little journal. It's kind of chock full of all kinds of things. This is some resist paper. And if you've never played with resist paper before, it's fun. You can use marker, watercolor, um, sprays, whatever. And, you know, you have little hidden words here. This says enjoy the little things. Um, but you can't see, you can't see those, you can't see enjoy the things you only see little. So you can play with some sprays or paints or whatever you want to with that resist paper. I have really had a fun time working with that. Um, it's, it's super cool and I've never, I've never worked with it before. We've got some planner elements here, some skinny books, some ATCs, and some um, already finished ATCs for you to play with and explore. Get some butterflies and things to color. I love that little bird says giddy. And some more photo negatives. I'm just kind of really liking the photo negative thing. And I did find find some blank photo negatives from, uh, you know, when people used to take photographs, which we don't much do anymore. Okay, this is a red, red, red journal. And I hope that the color is showing up. It's, it's such a pretty color of red and has a little bit of orange in it. So I thought that one came out really nicely. Uh, all of these books are bound with embroidery floss. And because I bound them with embroidery floss, I was really able to bling them up with the with the beaded spine and I'm very happy with the way that those came out. I love a beaded spine. I, I just think it's very, uh, it just lends such a funky, cool look to the book and it sounds really neat. You know, when you're playing around with your book, I love the way that this, the, you know, the glass on glass beads actually sound. I kind of fell in love with Jenny Belly because of her art. But because of the way that the paper sounded when she was working with it, I, I, that's hard to explain. I think you guys will understand that. <laughs> but I, sometimes I think it's the sound of the paper and the crunching. And just it, it's very exquisite when you think about it that, that something that is visual is also oral as well, that you can hear it as well as see it. 
Uh, this little red book starts off with uh, a, a pocket envelope at the front, and we have some butterflies tied in for you. More butterfly paper. I'm really liking uh, using these little Project Life cards that says Best Day Ever. I think that encourages you to use this journal to write in. Of course, a flow journal is meant for you to tear apart and use, but you know, sometimes people don't want to do that. This is one of my altered Rolodex cards for you to play with. We have some elements that are I used to brad. I like to use brads to attach things to pages. I think it makes it makes it more fun to to look at. This is a weekly time record. This is a bunny rabbit for you to color and some skinny books right here. Some stickers and more papers and a skinny book and another coloring sheet here. Uh, some really interesting colors with those papers, I thought. You know, they kind of go together really neatly. And some packaging for you to, to doodle around with. And we've got lots of tags and bookmarks and things like that. More tags. And a kitty cat. This one says good times. So you can see how the Anna Bunny Rabbit, you can see how this one kind of comes together and lots and lots of hairy paper clips. Remember the hairy paper clips. If you get one of these, you can use this as a little fiber stash. Um, actually, the whole book is, I mean, when you think about it, the whole book is like a travel art kit. You, you need, you know, maybe you need a pen or some pencils or you know a small watercolor palette and a glue stick and there you have it you know you can create art instantly with with this little flow journal all right i love the colors of this uh it reminded me of a mermaid so this is my mermaid tail journal flow journal i finished the spine with some beautiful beads that were donated by my friend Donna, I think, sent me these, and I just love them. Glass beads, beautiful. I'll take a look inside. I have got a pocket here, and, you know, I kind of wanted the uh, mermaid theme, the beach theme really came through really big time in this journal, so I just kind of stuck with it. So you'll see a lot of a lot of beachy elements. We have stars. We have seashells and flip-flops. Some vintage music. And lots of papers and tags and cards for you to play with. This says, um, oh, that actually says beach right there. A little Mickey Mouse card that I got from my friend Judy that has seashells right here. I thought that was really sweet. It seemed to be a good color to use in this book. I've got some skinny books, and these are, this is made up of a, a scrapbook paper that had a whole lot of, of postcards on it, travel postcards, you know. This is, uh, says cheese, treasured memories, pose, click, focus. We think about taking photographs when we're on vacation. This one says surf, and a uh, Rolodex card for you to play with. You are my sunshine. <laughs> Another Rolodex card and some of that, uh, dis um, not distress, uh, resist paper. This one says hot summer nights, bullfrogs, skies, moonlight, some ja uh, Chinese newspaper for you to play with, some sand castles and ocean waves. And this says enjoy, this says the beach. So you can see that this really did kind of take on a beach theme, a travel beach theme. And that says paradise. Love the color of this one. Really, it's so pretty. All right, got one more. Now this is kind of a crazy funky one. The fabric really reminded me of something that you would see in a Tim Burton movie. It, it was, you know, it just had that kind of mysterious sort of black and purple thing going on. This is um, 
this is finished with just a really big smattering of purple beads, some hematite, some glass Czechoslovakian beads. I really did enjoy doing this a whole lot. It's even got some chips of amethyst that I I was able to uh, to bind into there. This really did. It's got a Halloween vibe. It says pick your poison. Uh, it says be wild. Here are some uh, Halloween words. Costume and chill. And an uh, ATC right here. And ATC. You know, you can just see that it has a very Halloween-ish vibe. And like I said, I'm going to be doing more Halloween books. I love Halloween. I just, I think it's a fun holiday. When I was a little girl, my dad and my brother had a haunted house. So every year they would put together this haunted house and my dad would dress up like Frankenstein. He was truly terrifying, but it was also like a lot of fun and it's a really happy memory. Uh, because my dad, my brother, and my uncle worked on it all together. And they had a very successful little Halloween house. And we've got some, uh, I think this is Japanese text, some steampunk elements, tags and tabs, uh, an altered Rolodex card for you, um, butterflies. And some skeletons. Okay, thank you. Um, so we'll flip through this. Uh, Chris says my oven went off, so I gotta get downstairs and <laughs> take it out. Um, I'm baking some chicken on this like very cool, rainy September 1st. Jeez, how do you get September 1st, y'all? Gee whiz. This says October 31st. So it's very, uh, very Halloween-y. Got a lot of crazy hairy paper clips going on. So again, you guys, I really appreciate your support and your kindness. I'll have these listed over at my shop. I am hoping this afternoon, but like I said, it's a, it's a very, very hectic day around here. So I'm, I'm hoping that I get get everything done today. But thank you guys so much, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.